experts at the Universal Peace Federation has now issued a warning on the growing threat of EMP or electromagnetic pulse weapons. Such an attack can knock out virtually all communications and other critical services of countries in a matter of minutes. For long, experts have warned that key electrical infrastructure in the United States remains particularly vulnerable to an electromagnetic pulse attack or EMP, likely to be orchestrated by China, North Korea, or even Russia. The Universal Peace Federation specialists have now said that the US is at a pivotal moment if it wants to avoid a potential doomsday scenario. But to analyze the risk, we must first understand what an EMP is and how it can be weaponized. An EMP weapon is one that directs a massive explosion of energy over an intended target. Much like likely harm humans. What it does though is cripple all electronic devices and infrastructure within its radius. The weapon at first is glided directly above an intended target. These weapons, according to the U.S. nomenclature, are classified as high-altitude electromagnetic pulse or HEMP. A HEMP attack can interfere with radio frequency and instantly produce damaging voltage in electronic devices across thousands of miles. It can hinder fuel distribution, transport, food and water supply, and most importantly, communications, especially military communications. Such attacks can permanently immobilize vehicles with modern electronic ignition and control systems. Several congressional hearings and commissions in the U.S. have flagged the vulnerabilities of the American power grid. In 2015, a congressional committee testified in a joint hearing to discuss EMP weapons and preparedness. It asserted that a nationwide grid collapse either by hemp attacks or others had the potential to wipe out up to 90% of the American population. According to an analysis by the Task Force on National and Homeland Security, China already possesses so-called super EMPs. Analysts now fear that China's recent test of a new hypersonic glide vehicle last summer could give it impetus to deploy a high-altitude EMP against the United States. Though the U.S. keeps much of its EMP weapons capability classified, it is known that the U.S. Air Force high-powered microwave advanced missile project, or CHAMP, is now being expanded. In October last year, a massive power outage in Mumbai in India brought India's financial capital to a grinding halt. In the wake of the disruption, Chinese hackers were blamed for launching a cyber attack. But it did offer just a sliver of the kind of disruption that a similar attack, in this case, through an EMP, could actually achieve. Of late, governments worldwide have expanded mitigation measures against other forms of advanced warfare, including cyber attacks. As for nuclear weapons, all major world powers have them and conform to the mutually assured destruction doctrine for deterrence. But based on the U.S.'s own assessment and preparedness against EMPs, there is still much more to be done. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now. Shalom Israel, call Lord Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Kakadash. Um, yeah, man, you see it, man. You know, things getting real, man. You know, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, <laughs> you know, is doing wonderful things in the earth. You know, it's wonderful for us, wonderful for us, and, and bad for these people that's in this world. You know. But, uh, seen some of these comments that I wanted to show y'all. Y'all about some y'all shots is, is, you know, preparing these, these, these nations for war. They getting their weapons prepared, you know, they, they testing their weapons. So y'all about some y'all shots is preparing these nations for war. This a uh, comment I seen that I wanted to get. Somebody name not Don Shear. Uh, yeah, I think it was in here. Let's see.
Yeah. <laughs> this is, I believe it's a nine share. And it said, prepare hell. U.S., the United States, is long due for an ass whipping. <laughs> Look at how many countries U.S. has transgressed, transgressed against since World War II. Yeah, basically saying, look how many countries that the United States fucked over, man. You know, since World War II. And these, these nations are going to come up against Babylon the Great. You know, the scriptures tell you, man, Russia is going to come up against this place, you know. And, uh, and Russia allies and, you know, China. You know, North Korea, these these nations going to, you know, come up against America to destroy it, you know. Yeah, how about some of shots going to cause these nations to shoot them nuclear missiles over here to destroy this place? Look at the dude who said, big government, not we the people. Are well, you people here in Babylon the Great going to be destroyed as well? Crazy, man. Yeah, man, so you know. I'm not the one advocating nuclear World War Three. No, but it's coming. Three is coming, man. Revelations 11, verse 14. Just gonna grab that real quick. And I was just, you know, checking out the news and stuff, seeing what's going on. That was the first video, first news video I watched. Watch some more. Let's just get the scripture real quick. Because you all about Shemel Shah's preparing these nations for all our war. The third woe. Revelations 11, verse 14. The second war is passed. World War II is passed. It's over with. It's done, right? And behold, the third woe coming quickly. Yeah, World War Three is coming quickly. You know? So your whole about Shemel Shah is working, man. He's busy, man. He's 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 stirring up these nations, man. You know, he's rising the tension between these nations. You know, he's causing these nations to prepare for war. He's gonna put the spirit on these on these on these leaders from these nations to to have a nuclear war. And America is gonna be taken down in this nuclear war. So you know, that's all I really have. I really just wanted to, you know, go into that comment. But yeah, things, you know, these weapons that these America have and these other nations have, hey, it's going to be real good, man. This this this, this third war is going to be real good. And you got people in the world, why would you say that? This is this and that. Hey, like I said, us that's in this truth and sincerity. That believe on this word, that trust in y'all about from your shot, this is good for us. It's, I should say it's good for the elect. Y'all will win and we are the elect number. 
of the nation of Israel. It was good for the elect, because the elect going to be out the way. He lived to the chariot. And the elect want to see the destruction of America. So it's good for the elect that these things are happening. But it's bad for you people. That's that, that, that that's here upon this earth. That's not of the of the elect. Especially you people that's here in America. You know, it's, it's bad for you. But it's good for the elect. So call hello, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And respect to all the brothers preaching and teaching worldwide in sincerity. See y'all again soon. Y'all will win. Shalom.